Hello and welcome to Ten in Tech from IT Chronicles. My name is Carlos Casanova. We're here with Kathleen Wilson. Hey, Kathleen. And Shane Hi. Carlson. Hello. And our guest today is Mark Scott from CareWorks. Welcome, Mark. I'm glad that uh, you could join us. We had uh, some of your folks on with us before, but it's uh, great to have you on board today. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I definitely look forward to uh, chatting with you guys uh, over the next uh, few minutes. Thanks, Mark. Let's see if so you Mark, say that at the end. <laughs> yeah. sure. So, Mark, you know, you know, our understanding is that, you know, you in particular in CareWorks has been uh, in this space for, for a while. So why don't you give us a little bit of um, history? Because I, I know my understanding is that you've had sort of different um, roles in this space, some a little bit more on the software side, some more on the provider side. Why don't you give us a little bit of background on, you know, on where you've come from and where CareWorks uh, has come in, and obviously, you know, for, uh, for folks watching this, you know, where you guys are going and where you guys play in this uh, market space. Yes, I mean, I think we have an interesting perspective. Uh, myself, I haven't been in the space since 2000. I started a software company called Enable Technologies back then that was really one of the key, you know, first players to the market, you know, primarily working with VARs, system integrators, IT shops, and helping them evolve uh, into managed services, primarily focused on the SMB market. Um, and, and obviously today that's, you know, there's tens of thousands of MSPs around the world now and, uh, you know, certainly we're seeing, you know, a very mature ecosystem that, it, that exists within there. CareWorks, you know, fast forward to, to today, CareWorks is a managed service provider. So we actually deliver services uh, to SMB, uh, also to uh, a, a, a key vertical market in the long-term care space. So, so senior care facilities. And then, then we've also had a recently launched program uh, we called Managed ITSM that's really taking all of the things that I just talked about, but bringing it into the mid-market where we're really seeing, a, you know, again, a ton of, uh, yeah, a ton of, uh, of uh, demand that, that exists within there is internal IT departments are obviously put under more stress to, to do more with less. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that was, that was the one thing that I was kind of curious because, as you mentioned, there's a lot of... Um, a lot of providers in this space. So what is that differentiator? You know, that's what everybody always looks for. You know, why, why yourself? Why not, you know, one of these other uh, providers? Yeah, I mean, I think what's interesting, uh, you know, so if you, whether you look at MSP Mentor or any kind of the, uh, the benchmarking services that are out there that uh, grade, uh, you know, the top 100 providers, you know, what we've been seeing, uh, you know, kind of year after year is definitely uh, there's consolidation that's going on. Uh, first and foremost, you're seeing areas of specialization in terms of technology, whether it be I can take you from closet to cloud and, and have you, you as an organization, uh, you know, start to adopt, you know, better ways of consuming technology to even looking at market verticals as well and specializations. You know, I think, if, you know, having, Having been there from the beginning in the early 2000s, it was really an infrastructure play where it was about taking VARs and IT uh, providers that, you know, provided hardware and software and professional services and delivering kind of operational managed services to today, where it really, it's, it's really the opposite of that. It's actually about the end user back. And, and as we all know, you know, how we all use technology today is a lot different and it's very application focused. So I think with that becomes, you know, definitely the requirement to get the end user experience a lot more and understand how sophisticated today's uh, technology user is. And then obviously, as I mentioned, look at areas of specialization, whether it be technology or verticals or other areas as well. Excellent. So, you know, just in based off some of our prior conversations about how you guys are approaching the managed services world and some of the things you, you touched on a little bit uh, earlier here, tell me why you guys feel you're uniquely positioned to help out, especially in the mid-market and the SMB, because that's a space that's typically largely ignored by a lot of the larger MSPs. Yeah, um, you know, I think the, the mid-market for us, and again, you know, definitely devils in the details on the definition, you know, if you look at you know that market that I described earlier is kind of the sub 100 employee companies, which again there is a ton of providers that are that are out there providing that uh, you know servicing that market today. Then conversely, look at the higher uh, end of the market where you know again software companies like ServiceNow dominate on on the IT service management side. That's you know again companies that are 
in the thousands of end users and, and can obviously afford and have the budgets to spend, uh, you know, the hundreds, hundreds of thousands, if not millions on IT. What sits in the middle from kind of the low hundreds into the low thousands is really, a, you know, kind of a hodgepodge of providers and solutions and a lot of do-it-yourself type uh, internal IT departments that are out there. And, you know, really the M an internal MSP model is what uh, you know we're seeing more and more of them really trying to trying to take more of a business focus to IT and starting to leverage companies like us, whether it be in a in a vertical or or a technology specialization area uh, that they would look at. And I mean, one area in particular that we all see is obviously security today. And you know, information security isn't is no longer about you know kind of taking taking the privacy policy of your comp competitor kind of cut and paste, put it on your website and, and buy, buy a firewall and some, some antivirus and that kind of stuff. I mean, security is a very, uh, you know, a very serious game today that really can take down companies and, and, and take businesses offline uh, for days, if not weeks. Uh, so, so it's definitely the mid market uh, we see as a, as a huge opportunity for managed services. And we definitely feel we're one of the, you know, the key players in that market space. Excellent, excellent. So Mark, you were talking, like what was in, in included from a managed ITSM, you know, service offering is like, you know, what do you think is one of the selling points of why customers choose your organization? Is it the reduce the mitigation of risk? Um, you know, do you find it's that they possibly went through like a breach, a security breach or something? Um, or, you know, they're seeing gaps in their current service delivery organization, or they just don't have them. Like what a profile of a typical customer besides yeah. the verticals. Yeah. I mean, for us, I mean, if, if you, if you look at, you know, the, you know, the, the mature managed service offerings that are out there, whether they're leveraging, you know, enable solar winds connect wise, you know, kind of name the tool sets that exist within the SMB. Uh, it's really kind of almost invisible, those technologies to the end user. I mean, a, a 30 person insurance company just cares that IT is working, right? I mean, they don't, they don't necessarily get into the details of, of the types of technologies that they use. If you really look at managed ITSM, what, you know, kind of, again, the banner, we, we wave our uh, mid market solution on uh, that's really where you're looking at a, you know, again, a, it could be a thousand person or a couple of thousand person uh, uh, organization with maybe 20 or 30 IT people within there, how can they leverage the technologies that BMW, you know, the, 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 the fortune, uh, you know, the global 2000 that are out there, how can they leverage those types of technologies, but have it in a consumption model and a software as a service model. And then over and above that be aug augmented with 24 seven help desk automation through remote monitoring and management cloud services, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and be able to do that really, uh, you know, in a, in a pretty seamless fashion. So, so that that's really, if you look at to, to the large extent, when I when we came on the uh, the scene with Enable back in the, again, the early 2000s, you had a very kind of reactive chaotic service delivery model that existed in the SMB channel. That to some degree still exists in the mid market, believe it or not, in that you know, to a large extent, they're fairly immature in terms of uh, their service delivery. And it's really about, again, as I mentioned, putting, putting their own tool sets together and kind of doing it themselves. What managed ITSM allows them to do is be able to do, again, what the large corporate enterprise can do, but also bringing that automation and, and as a service model that's really been perfected in the SMB market and, and meet, uh, you know, really a massive market with, uh, with a huge need. Yeah. And you've commoditized it, right? So you've made it very uh, affordable. You've made it, you know, very easy to onboard, right? So you've made it more of a commodity as opposed to an organization having, I have to build this from the ground up. It's like, it's a closed end solution, commodity based yeah. uh, and software as a service. So it's quick to set up. It's quick to run. Uh, it works. You got it. So, so, I mean, if I'm, you know, if I'm the CFO in a mid market company, again, a 2000 employee manufacturing company, I don't want my IT people focused around uh, really end user support or again, a, a lot of operational technology. Again, that, you know, that mousetrap has been built uh, for years, as I mentioned in the managed services space, 
I want my, uh, you know, my, my internal IT department focused on how do we connect all the data and applications in our, you know, within our organization, how do we leverage technology to automate things and make, uh, you know, make things more efficient to service our customers better, our supply chain better, whatever it may be. So really try to take internal IT and make it more strategic by again, working with an organization like us to, uh, to help really reduce costs and, and bring, but, but while you're doing that, really bring the, the end user experience out of the Flintstones from being kind of a chaotic, um, reactive, when I have a problem, I'm gonna call uh, the IT help desk to, you know, again, automating a lot of that and making it really uh, focused around customer service and customer uh, end user satisfaction. Because today's end user within an organization, you can't no longer really feed them, uh, uh, you know, feed them how they're going to use technology because, uh, again, how we all use technology personally. Yeah, and I guess I guess the one thing that I kind of envision on that too is, you know, the, the commoditization. The technologies are changing so quickly, especially in the security space, to, to see a, you know, an IT shop of 20 individuals have the capacity and, and capability of really staying up to speed on the top level, you know, changes that happen in, you know, what, whether it's um, intrusion detection or, you know, active monitoring, any of that stuff is really, frankly, unrealistic. And, you know, so I, I could definitely see how, especially on the security side, how that'd be a huge benefit for an organization that has 20 people just, you know, trying to keep up, yeah. but they can actually get a far greater um, capability. And in this day and age, when we don't work independently, you know, we always work with partners. Uh, I would envision that some of these partnerships are going to warrant, you know, a how do you handle your security? How do you handle your um, your protections? Because I don't know if I want to partner with you and set up an IT connection with you if you're not doing your your share of the security side. So, uh, so I can envision that you know that that space growing even more vital and your types of services being even more important going forward for, uh, for these mid-market uh, companies. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with that. And, and I think one of the really key aspects of our uh, offering is a product called Grand Central, which is really a managed version of ServiceNow. We call it ServiceNow as a service. Uh, hey, hey, come up with another uh, uh, SNAS for, for, a, uh, for an acronym. I know everybody in IT likes, uh, uh, likes acronyms, but you know, the beauty of ServiceNow as a technology is it's really the opposite of every other technology that we've ever come across in IT management in that it really starts with their customer portal and, and basically starts with, you know, th really three basic things. How do I get support? How do I get knowledge? You know, so again, be able to really in a very slick fashion, grab a knowledge based article on, uh, you know, could be a security item or how do I, uh, you know, how do I use, uh, you know, Office 365 or whatever it may be to actually the ability to have a web store, an internal web store that you can actually even down order Office 365 or order the pro a product for the latest uh, new hire that you have in your Kansas City office or wherever it may be. So, so kind of that consumerization of IT that we all experience in our personal computing and how, how we, you know, how we get support really that's the contention of, of managed ITSM and what we've been able to do, bringing that into the mid market, bringing it into again, uh, our big market vertical long-term care, senior care, and really making it so it's, uh, you know, a very, very similar to a, the, the consumer experience that they have to be able to order things, to be able to get things in an on-demand 24 by seven, because again, we're all connected pretty much uh, at all times. and. No, like that's kind of table stakes making technology work. I mean, we can't function in our jobs if technology doesn't work. So it's really, uh, you know, it, it's really, a, you know, bringing again the best of the SMB market and managed services with the best of global outsourcing uh, to have again a human be able to answer the phone Sunday night at 11, 11 p.m., uh, you know, that kind of stuff and be able to do that in a, in a 24 by 7 uh, fashion. And again, it, it obviously takes a lot of capital to be able to d be able to deliver that type of experience for the end, end customer. So. Well, Mark, thank you uh, so much. I know we're kind of running up at the top of the uh, time limit here, but uh, so thank you very much for 
joining us today. I wish you all the best. Um, like I said, I, I, I do uh, look forward to seeing how you guys continue to grow and, uh, and service this market. Thank you for uh, joining us. Awesome. Thanks very much, guys. Great Thank question. Thank you.